Hello, my little artist. So, get ready to rainbow eyes today. So, we have been looking at rainbows so far today. And a few weeks ago, it was actually our first time painting together. We made this painting. Do you remember it? We painted all these different types of lines. And today we are going to finish this painting by rainbowizing. So this is what you're going to need. In addition to your paintbrush that you hold on the colored part, not the silver part. The silver part is the, what is it? It's the danger zone. You're gonna hold it on the wooden part. I've got my water ready for when I need to swoosh, wipe, blot to clean my paintbrush. And today we're actually going to get a different type of paint. This type of paint is called watercolor. What is this type of paint called? Watercolor is right. So I've got all the rainbow colors in this dish. Now some of them look really dark, almost black but I promise you they are the rainbow colors. Even the one that's orange looks almost like red. So really look at them to be careful about what you're doing. Okay, everybody. So in this first shape I made with my line, I've now created a shape and that's what I'm gonna paint in the first color of my rainbow. What is the first color of the rainbow? Red, I hope you said red. Okay, I'm ready to paint. I'm gonna dip it in the red, wipe it on the lip so it doesn't drip, not the lips on your face. And to be a good painter, I'm gonna trace the outsides and then I'm gonna paint it in. What? This paint is watery. Well, friends, that's because it's watercolor. It's supposed to be watery. This paint's supposed to be red. Why does it look pink? Well, friends, light red is pink. Did you know that? Light red is the same as pink, it's the same thing. All right, guys, I'm gonna be painting very fast. You are gonna take your time. Okay, I finished that section. I'm ready for the next row. And what color is the second color of the rainbow? I hope you said orange. So I need to wash my brush. Remember, I swoosh, don't splash. I wipe, I don't hit it because that makes spills. And I blot it on the towel to make it pointy and clean. All right, everybody, I'm gonna dip it in with orange, wipe it on the lip so it doesn't drip, not the lips on your face, and I'm gonna paint this one orange. Trace these shapes and then fill in where you can. All right, guys. Now mine, I'm gonna start getting a little sloppier because I'm going fast because I want you to have time to paint, not me. I already know these tricks. All right, everybody, I have to clean my brush because I got the next section. I need to swoosh, wipe, blot. And what's the next color of the rainbow? Yellow. Oh gosh, I made a mistake. I wanted to paint yellow and I thought I was dipping in the yellow, but I made a mistake. What should I do? Yeah. We just wash our brush, wipe, blot, and then I can re-go over in yellow and that will just be a beautiful, oops, no problem. Sometimes mistakes happen. Trace the shape, fill the shape in. All right, next, swoosh, wipe, blot, What's the next color of the rainbow? Green. Ooh, the green almost looks black. Really look to make sure. Dip, wipe it on the lip so it doesn't drip. That looks green to me. And I will paint the next line green. Trace the shape with your watercolor. I love watercolor. 
keeping her like on her tippy toes. She is a ballerina loving to dance. You can see the brush is bending a little bit, but it's not going crazy. Just a little bend and her ballerinas are pretty flexible, you know. All right, guys, next, swoosh. Don't splash, wipe, blot. We're almost getting there. What's the next to last color? What comes after green? Uh-huh, blue, dip it, wipe it on the lip so it doesn't drip. Trace, whoa, that blue is really dark. Trace, 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 trace. Trace my shapes, fill it in. All right, guys. What is the last color of the rainbow? Do you remember without me showing you the picture? Did you say it was purple? Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody. Okay, it didn't really finish. I'm going super duper fast. Swoosh, wipe, blot, and dip it. Wipe it on the lips so it doesn't drip, and paint her in. Okay, guys, so I'm done with the rainbow, but I actually have a couple more spots left. What do I do? Ha ha, let me tell you. If you've got so many lines like I do, and you might not, but if you're like me and you have extra space, then you need to go back to the beginning. So that means I swoosh, wipe, blot, and I go back to the first color of the rainbow, which is red. Dip, wipe it on the lips so it doesn't drip. And then I can paint this one in red. Thank you for your patience. I know you're being great listeners and I know you're excited to paint. I'm almost finished with mine. I just have a little bit left and I want you to see that I started the rainbow over again. I could do inside those little noogies is what I'm gonna do. Orange for my next color, my rainbow. Swoosh, wipe, blot. And I've got one more little space and I'm gonna make that yellow because I'm painting everything. No white spaces. All right, everybody, that is my masterpiece. I have rainbow eyes and it is beautiful. Can you see it? So I'm gonna go put this down where Ms. Langdon wants me to put it down. Make sure my hands are clean, my table area is clean, and if you finish with extra time, I can get one piece of drawing paper and a box of crayons for my table and make something to take home. All right, happy arting.